started MTC 18 years ago because I felt that God wanted us to do something about the marketplace. We didn't understand what that meant at that time. Uh, we still don't fully understand what it means. We wanted to obey God and want to bring the work of His, His Holy Spirit and the experience uh, of living a life empowered by the Holy Spirit into the constituents here in the Midwest. Our driving force to continue to sustain these conferences hasn't really changed. It's still a walk of obedience to the Lord. Uh, in a lot of ways we've grown, uh, and uh, in some ways we've been adjusted. One consistent thing that I can say is that we, we're still walking in the obedience of God. Not fully understanding exactly you know, how this all fits into the greater picture of, uh, of what God's going to be doing through the marketplace to the kingdom. for this conference um, you know in a sense they're joining in us for this expression of obedience to God it's obedience to to do exactly what he tells us to do in Matthew chapter 6 to, to seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and uh, in, in seeking that in, see, in seeing that the promise of Christ is that then all you know all these things will be added unto you but what are all these things all these things that really what is spoken in verse um, previous verse, in verse 32 of Matthew chapter 6, is that all the things that pagans run after will be added unto you. So in a sense, God wants us to have influence in the marketplace today. God wants us to, uh, to be prosperous so that we can continue to propagate and grow the influence of His kingdom. seek his kingdom, and not to first seek our own careers, or first to seek our own education, or first to seek our own promotion, or first to seek our own wealth, but to first seek God's kingdom and his righteousness. All those other things that you see the pagans running out of around you, given to you. And I think that's really the epitome of this conference, um, is an expression for us to be obedient and to seek first God's kingdom and his righteousness.